got a message recently from somebody asking about TMJD and if chiropractic can be helpful. So this video is a short way to explain more about what's going on and how it can be helpful. So for those who don't know, TMJD stands for temporomandibular joint dysfunction, essentially jaw dysfunction. And what can happen is the jaw can be more out of place for some reasons. And really it depends on why it has been happening. So say if someone has had an accident, an injury directly to the jaw, then it makes sense that really they need to address what's been happening in the jaw. It's also good to also check in with, say, a dentist first before ever seeing what's going on, How, because the dentist may find that maybe something happening directly with the jaw, maybe something happened with the teeth, with the gums that may be affecting it. One thing that we see here very commonly, once these things have been ruled out, is that there may be something going on more with the neck. Because the control centers at the top of the neck supply what's called the cranial nerves, which go all around the head, including to the jaw. So a model here, at the very top part up here, this is where we have the top parts of the spinal cord. So these nerves, they're not just going to go into the local area. They supply all, and I mean all parts of the head, face, eyes, ears, neck, shoulder, and then going down towards the arms. And this also includes going towards the jaw. So if something's going on with the jaw, what may be actually happening is, especially if it's say more just symptoms, more pain, not necessarily clicking or anything else, it may be that something is happening more at that top level and the information it's sending to the jaw causes it to feel painful. So someone may you know, do some massage in the area, they may try to do other te techniques in the area, but really the main cause may not actually be the jaw itself, but what's happening further back here. And the other thing that can happen is those top two bones, so they look more like this, if they are more out of place, say they're like this, they're more out of balance, then instead of being more flat, they may be at a bit of an angle. And if then we have this angle, what can happen then is it means it's going to start to change the gravity for everything else. So we're coming back to here. So instead of it being nice and flat, we now have an angle. But now this angle means that gravity is going to start to affect this side of the jaw differently to this side of the jaw. And if it's different on side by side, it can lead to irritation happening in that jaw itself. So this is some of the cases where maybe there is a bit of clicking, there is a bit of a grinding feeling in the jaw, but it may not necessarily be starting from here. And that's where, of course, where someone maybe goes to see a dentist and they get some level of relief, it improves to an extent, but there may be this thing where it keeps coming back. And it may be that something at the top of the neck is actually affecting things further down as, uh, as well as what is happening at the jaw itself.